now here in this question it is asked that electric conduction in a semiconductor takes place due to the options are electrons only holes only both electrons and holes neither electrons nor holes now to understand the electric conduction that is flow of charge carriers in a semiconductor let's take uh, atoms together of semiconductor and with that we can examine how exactly the electric conduction in a semiconductor takes place so here let's uh, consider three atoms of silicon so here we can see the first atom of silicon this is silicon atom and here we can see the second atom of silicon and here it is third atom of silicon so this is the first atom this is the second atom and this is the third atom and here you can see the positive plate of electric field and here you can see the negative plate of electric field. Now here at room temperature, we know that few valence electrons can become free electrons. They will leave the parent atom because they are loosely attached. They can become free electron. Say for example, now here the valence electrons of the first atom, say this valence electron, which is in the outer orbit becomes free at room temperature so this is, is going to come out so here you can see this is the free electron this is the free electron now free electron will be a negative charge particle and it will be attracted by the positive plate of the electric field so this free electron will be a negative charge it will be attracted by the positive plate of the electric similarly now here what happens is when this free electron comes out this place which was there becomes a hole becomes a hole you can see here this place has become a hole it is a vacant place of electron and hole is considered as a positive charge particle a hole is nothing but it is a vacant place of electron but it is considered as positive charge particle because a negative charge particle electron has left it so here <laughs> this was our free electron free electron and now this is our hole okay now this free electron will be attracted by the a positive terminal of the electric field and this hole has been created here now this hole can attract any other free electron of other atom say for example this electron here of the second atom becomes free now this electron once it becomes free it can come and get get it can come to this place and get situated here that means the second atom electron which has come out this will create a position of hole now and that electron has come and sat here it has taken this position so if you see in this next diagram you can see here this electron is now going to come here direction of this electron will be coming here to this vacant place of the first electron which is the hole and this hole will be created here now this will become a hole that means holes are going to travel like this and electrons are going to travel like this that means in the next figure you can see that electron which was there in the second atom has come to this position here and the hole which was here has gone to this position here that means holes are traveling just opposite to the flow of electron holes are traveling like this and electrons are traveling like this similarly now this second position that is this hole position in the second atom can attract other free electrons of other atoms say for example this electron becomes free this electron becomes free this can be attracted to this position of the hole and because this electron will leave its atom, it will leave its uh, orbit, this position here can become a hole. This position here can become a hole. So here you can see this electron will be attracted towards the hole position here. And similarly, this position here becomes a hole. This position here becomes a hole. And here you can see that electron has come here. That means again from here the hole is going to move like this and the electron is moved like this. Okay. Now once the electron comes here, uh, once the hole comes here, this position here, 
Now, as hole is a positive charge particle, it will be attracted by the negative terminal of the electric field. So, here you can see hole will be attracted by the negative terminal of the electric field. And as this negative terminal is full of electrons, it will give an electron which can come and take the place of this hole over here. So, here you can see the electron from the negative terminal has come, it has taken this place and the hole which was here has gone to the negative terminal because hole is a positive charge particle. That means as a whole, as a whole process, we can say that electrons are going to travel like this, like this, like this here, okay, and holes are going to travel like this. So electrons were traveling like this and holes are going to travel like this. Okay, now here you can see in this diagram, so here you can see the electrons from the negative terminal of the electric field has come to this position, then it has come to this, uh, this position here, then it has come to this position here and it has gone to the positive plate of the particle. That means electrons are traveling like this. And similarly, if you see hole, hole first, this electron had moved out, so hole was created here. Then next, the hole was created here. Then the next, the hole is created here, and then the hole is attracted by the negative terminal of the battery. That means holes are going to travel like this. Okay. That means both electrons and holes are going to travel or they are going to move from in opposite directions. That means in a semiconductor, the electric conduction takes place due to both electrons and holes. So here you can see that option C, that is electric conduction in a semiconductor takes place due to both electrons and holes will be the correct answer.